Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a GeekCast data dump, as we're calling it. Um, this will be a uh, a tutorial and a walkthrough on how to set up automated billing utilizing ConnectWise Automate and ConnectWise Manage. Um, we will be uh, setting up a uh, an agreement, uh, a company, and mapping workstations uh, products. Uh, a server product and a one-off product that we're in this case we're going to set up antivirus so to capture the count of AV we have supporting for the client in this quote-unquote scenario um, we're going to be doing this so that uh, you can expand on what we're doing to include um, further uh, let's say you wanted to count office installations on machines you could do that or uh, line of business software or any other software packages uh, or uh, anything you can count inside the automate database you can theoretically create a an agreement edition for and uh, send it to connectwise manage itself so starting with this we're going to go to our companies tab um, and we're going to select our test company in this case uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go connectwise here um, to make it easy um, so we're gonna go to our company finance and we're gonna create a brand new agreement now this can be any agreement it doesn't have to have specifics to it we really care about mapping the agreements itself uh, set up from the uh, manage um, or the automate excuse me uh, manage plugin uh, then we'll map everything there specifically so uh, we're just gonna do manage services uh, temp agreement for and we're just gonna save it as defaults all right now that we have our agreement itself um, we're going to make sure that we have our products now uh, we go into the procurement module and we want to go to the product catalog um, now if you don't have any of this set up you want to make sure that you uh, start building out your categories and subcategories through your setup tables um, to, to kind of map through your GL codes and that's a whole nother entirely separate thing so here we're just going to use what we have um, and we're going to continue with this so we're going to go and we're going to create our agreement workstation workstations covered by our agreements and our category is going to be managed services managed services uh, each unit price let's say we're gonna do 125 an hour uh, 125 per machine and our estimated cost per machine is $20 Oh. All right, so these are the three products we're going to be using today. Um, we have our workstation server and antivirus created. We want to make sure that uh, everything we put on the additions tab of the agreement is a listed product inside of Manage. Um, and you also uh, just to make sure everything flows correctly you have uh, a price listed and a cost listed um, so you want to make sure that those are are, are good to go um, and then we'll move on all right and so that now we've got our uh, connectwise manage plugin open uh, as you can see we're uh, tabbed into the agreement mapping section um, where we can set our asset templates now if you've done this before you may have a sync only template set up currently we don't have any templates set up so we're going to specifically set up a brand new template and we're going to map everything we've looked at inside of uh that, that's detected inside of automate and we're going to map that to a specific managed product and a configuration type as well as an agreement so we're going to go to uh our workstation and we obviously have our agreement and we're gonna do a server um, and as you can see there's a ton of different specific individual stuff that you can do based on detection uh, and we're gonna to go to 
It's a managed network. Let's see. Managed workstation. Oop, not one server. Let's go to manage server. And then we're going to go to manage workstation. And then we're going to specifically find our manage service agreement type. Now, if you recall earlier in the video, we actually put a new agreement under manage services for the ConnectWise company. So we're going to save this. Oh, got it instead of time. All right, so we're going to save. And now we have a template that's syncing workstations and servers to all of this information. So if we come up here, we're going to go to assets. We're going to sync MS template sync. And then we're going to not have any managed services because that's where we'll set that up in a second. That's where the, uh, the antivirus stuff comes in. So if we save this, changes have been saved. If we come over here, we make sure our test computers report again. It is awesome. And we have one workstation that hasn't synced. We're going to sync the client. Um, I highly recommend you manually sync the individual company you're testing with and not click the sync assets button. Otherwise you'd be waiting for a while. Um, and that's synced over. So we'll go into our companies. And just so we'll go to configurations and we have a desktop right here. So we'll go to the agreements and see our additions. As you can see, it's synced our agreement over. Now, the if you look at the agreement, we didn't set any dollar amount here, but if you look, the next invoice amount is $125. So this is where you need to be careful uh, when you set up your pricing and your extended pricing. Um, <clears throat> and you can come in here and manually adjust this if you'd like. Um, you can make it uh, no charge. Uh, you can do it in a bill, however you want to set it. Um, but most importantly, some people include a specific amount, like you get uh, a server with a location or, you know, you get five workstations for signing up with us today. Um, and that's where you want to come in here and do less included. Um, so if we do this, if we do, you get one free one, there's zero to bill. So if we go back to the agreement main page, it'll be $0. So it's important to make sure that anything that's included or you want to include um, that may be an overage you do, you have to go in and manually set the list included um, to make sure that everything is good. Um, but other than that, uh, it should bill on its own uh, each time. So there are some uh, potential issues that you could run into for those who uh, pre-bill. Um, there is an occasion sometimes where if you pre-bill for this month, um, such as, and what I mean by pre-bill is, you invoice the client, um, let's say uh, January 1st for work in February. Um, so the end, you've invoiced February and January. So you, you get your money up front, everything's invoiced, so anything extra you invoice at a later date. Um, there has been some known issues occasionally that pop up where Automate cannot update uh, the manage edition because the invoicing period has already been set. Um, so you have to look out for that and make sure that that's not, that's not occurring. Uh, if it is, you'll need to open a ticket and get that rectified. Um, and to make sure that everything is set in stone, you obviously want to review anything that you set up automated, um, multiple times, uh, just, you know, handpicked, select a few, just to make sure that, you know, the automation is in fact working and there's no real hidden bugs because having an addition not update, um, you won't really know unless you say, hey, they added 50 computers last week um, and they're still being invoiced for 10. So, you know, it's, unless it's something major like that, you won't really notice, um, you know, if it's up or down. So, um, and of course, not everyone gets to communicate effectively as a company. So every time, you know, they discontinue a, a, a desktop or uh, add a server or add a workstation, uh, they may not get all the way to the finance department to where they properly uh, create the, you know, the additions or subtractions inside the agreement itself. So automating billing is a fantastic way to, uh, to, to, to fix those, those potential uh, issues with, with money. So now we're back at our uh, 
automate instance here, we're going to create our manage services template. Now this is a way to utilize searches and groups um, to automate creating uh, additional billable items inside of an agreement. Um, so we're going to click on our system button here and go to general and we're going to go to manage services catalog. So I've already created one here for our generic AV product. Um, so if you click on edit, uh, this is basically the same as the ad box. You get a SKU number and a name and a what type it is. Um, so we're going to, the, the type itself is computer. Um, but we also have the option of uh, contacts or network devices or even locations and clients. Um, so once that's set up and done, we'll be able to uh, just close out of here um, because it's no longer necessary. And we're going to go to our browse section. And we're going to go to our groups. Now I've already created a group here for Windows Defender. Um, and all it's looking for, if I preview and run it, is uh, machines that have Windows Defender as its AV. There's nothing else. It's just AV contains Windows Defender in the search. Um, and in fact, I'll go ahead and pull it up. Oops. Searches, view searches. So we'll just open this up real quick. So, and computer.antivirus name contains Windows Defender. That's it. And it pulls up this machine right here. It's our test machine. Um, we're going to go uh, back to our browse and groups. Um, we're going to open this back up. Uh, we're going to, we pulled it in auto search that we do want to limit to search. Um, we want to see the computers listed. Um, and now we want to click on the uh, manage services tab. This tab itself uh, we, is, is, it will show you everything assigned to this. We want to click on add. Um, we find our SKU with our name and our computer and we want to limit to this specific search and we're going to add um, and as it changed it's assigned to one. So currently this should show um, one for this machine here. Um, and that's it. That's set up the group and that's done. Now we'll need to go back into our ConnectWise uh, manage plugin here and create a manage services template um, and map that product. So we're going to click on new template. We're going to go over here. Um, we're going to uh, make sure to refresh in case you're doing this, you know, in between uh, so we can pull the most recent um, uh, assets that you have, the asset types and your agreement types in case uh, you, you need to do anything uh, or you're doing this in between stuff. Um, so we're going to click on here. We're going to click on our managed product is AGR antivirus. And our agreement is for managed services agreement. So we're going to save this. Ooh. AV agreement template. Um, this basically says only this product that we have assigned inside this service template. So now we're going to go over here and we're going to select AV agreement template. And we're going to save. And we're going to go back up here to the asset sync. I'm going to right click and then we're going to sync the client. And we're going to refresh. Go over here to our additions and here we go. As you can see, we have our less included. And then we have our antivirus. And if we click on history, we've seen it was updated by API user that we have listed. And it'll add an invoice amount of $3. That, in a small condensed version, is how you set up automated billing for devices and items um, and anything that's uh, searchable and groupable inside of Manage itself. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below um, or hit us up on Slack or the forums.